Test. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Hello. 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 Wait, is it? Is it too loud? Marketing Monday on a Monday. Who could believe it? Who could see it? Who could achieve it? Us together. Let me wait. 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 Hold. 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 Uh, I got a phone. I got a little music too. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello, everybody. Good to see you. This is like when my dad remembers my friend. No, it's not like when your dad remembers your birthday. It's like when a streamer does a piece of content that he had time to do. Uh, <laughs> my accountant professor worked at Enron. Well, then he's probably not a very reliable source of study. I don't want this song. I'm not quiet. Why does everybody say I'm quiet? Uh, someone make a clip of me talking right now. We're going to play the clip back on stream to prove that I'm not quiet. Am I normal volume right now when I'm talking? Make a clip of this. And we're going to listen to back and I'm going to prove to you guys that you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you're dumb as fuck. I think you have bad mixing. I think you guys listen to my stream on Nokia phones from 2003. And I think you have it. And you also have a game playing. And it's all coming out of one little speaker crackling. And then you can't understand me. And then you're like, oh, I wish it was. But it's not me. Victim, there's the clip. All right, we're going to watch the clip right now. We're going to watch the clip right now. And I'm sure it will reveal that I am correct this whole time. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Play it back for me. Audio test. I'm not quiet. Why does everybody say I'm quiet? Uh, someone make a clip of me talking right now. We're going to play the clip back on stream to prove that I'm not quiet. Am I normal? Vo I'm not quiet. That's not quiet. That's literally and figuratively. Oh, is it muted? No, it's not muted. You can hear it. That's literally not quiet, dude. Why does everybody say I'm quiet? Uh, someone make a clip of me talking right now. Or we're going to play the clip back on. That's literally not quiet. You literally are lying. That's literally proof. I can hear the difference, right? You can hear my voice talking. <laughs> that's, that's insane. It, I, I literally can hear what I'm saying with no problem. The music might be a tad loud, but it's not like I am quiet. I am, I can, you can hear me. No, I not an editor. I didn't hire an editor to take the clip and bump up the audio and then give it back to me. Why is your mic just dangling there? What's wrong with the dangle? You got a problem with my mic dangle? I think it's nice. It's a free flowing. <laughs> my mixer's not off. Maybe your ears are off. You ever think about that? Dare pause and say, wow, maybe, maybe Atriox mixture is perfect. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how are you guys doing? How's everything going? Hey, good to see you. Happy Monday. What's going on? What's happening? Uh, got actually a good amount of stuff to talk about today. We got a, we got a wins and fails. We got a what's up Beijing. We even got a special edition of... What the fuck's going on in Europe? <laughs> For all my EU, EU fucks who aren't here, we can make fun of them. We got uh, a special guest appearance for a mini um, sort of marketing Monday. And we also uh, got a little bonus uh, video thing at the end. So we got a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot today. A lot of marketing and business related discussion to talk about. Um, uh, Steve Carell? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I imply in any way that Steve Carell would be my guest? Why Why would you think that? Now the real guest is going to seem disappointing because it's not Steve Carell. No, it's not LeBron James. 
I never in any way implied that Elon Musk, Obama, LeBron James, or Steve Carell. I did not did not say that explicitly. If you could find me a clip of me saying that Steve Carell is going to be on the show, I will give you uh, money, I guess. But I don't. I never said that. I never said that. Uh, <laughs> Tom Holland. Tom Holland wouldn't be that great of a guess. What's Tom Holland know about marketing? What's he going to say? Oh, I look good and I smile. And then everyone likes me. Shut the fuck up, Tom Holland. All right, sorry. Nobody cares. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I'm an Andrew Garfield man anyway. You know what I'm honest? Andrew Garfield did it better. He didn't get the... He had a worse script. You give Andrew Garfield Tom Holland's script, he crushes it. Uh... Jim Carrey. <laughs> Elon's coming in to rate Twitter memes. Oh, my God. Me and Elon <laughs> would have different opinions, I think. I have a slightly different take on whether Lenar Wall Bacons at Midnight is as funny as he might think. Uh, But, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, the difference is I think it's even funnier. The difference is I won't be able to stop laughing. <laughs> the difference is yeah I see something like that and I'm fucking crying I see Pickle Rick and I'm I'm on the floor dude and he's just laughing like Elon Musk controls himself and he just laughs and moves on I'm I'm knocked out how about Quincy how about Quincy what dude I saw something today why was I thinking about Quincy today I, I swear oh <laughs> wait let me see if I can find it dude I was looking on Reddit and you know how Reddit will automatically serve you stuff it thinks you're interested in? I don't subscribe to the Bloons TD6 subreddit. But yet, in my in my discovery page or whatever, I got this. Bro, I swear to God, the funniest shit just happened today in BTD6. So I was using Quincy. Dead, 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 dead. I haven't even told the story yet. What the fuck are you laughing at? What what is this? What is this? <laughs> Why does it know, first of all? And then why is it so fucking funny, dude? It's funny. <laughs> this is top tier content. <laughs> I'm not going to scroll up because I posted it. <laughs> I can't reveal it, but this is actually my post. And it actually, I want to show you guys that it did really well. It actually did super well. So, um, Belon Busk. I'm not going to ignore that. I know you want to just type in the chat and let it sail by. I want to stop and simmer in that. You thought your best way to contribute in chat to our conversation was to put the B emoji and then Elon and the B emoji and then Musk. And you felt like that was a powerful, you felt like that was worth it. Because <laughs> you had to go get that. You had to go get the, and then, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. I just want to sit in this for a second. <laughs> I don't want to move on. I want you to feel a lot of attention on it. Because uh, I I thought it was great. Um, did you see the new Space Telescope image? I thought <laughs> Northern Lion, as usual, very funny guy, um, said exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, actually, I'll just pull up this tweet because it was funny. Uh... Yeah, this, the telescope image came out today, and my initial first thought was like, okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and then he tweeted, honestly, not even the best photo I've seen in the last 24 hours. And for me, that's true, because I saw a bunch of funny photos uh, just scrolling through Reddit, dude. It's just, this looks fake. I, what I would rather see is an AI-generated image of stars with, like, Darth Vader on trial or something. You know, you're like... <laughs> That, the, the AI has ruined real pictures for me because I see funny AI generated stuff on Twitter all the time because I like all of them. There's no point in seeing real shit. <laughs> like if I wanted to, I could see a animatronic star on trial in a courtroom sketch eating a bowl of Cheerios <laughs> while doing a backflip. Like that could be generated in 20 minutes and I could, it would be funnier. You said it? What is this? What is this? 
that Steve Carell is going to be on the show, I will give you uh, money. That Steve Carell is going to be on the show, I will give you uh, money. That Steve Carell is going to be on the show. Okay, that's not. Obviously, you're. <laughs> Everyone, every single person here, myself included, is aware that you just cut the beginning. There's no point for us to do this little song and dance. <laughs> There's no point for us to do this little song and dance. We don't need to go back and forth because we know. We know that just what just happened. So it's not even a technical situation. <laughs> All right. You know what? Yeah. In the same way that you are right here, I will rightfully pay you. <laughs> that is a guarantee. I am guaranteeing that I will pay you. So real, pog, pog, real, real, real. Uh, wait, wait, oh, there was um, I wanted to say, speaking of Twitter, that I got a DM today, that just made me. <laughs> uh, you, I here's the expression that I want you to have in mind. Is me being like cool <laughs> okay that's what i want picture that because that was my first reaction to this dm today from a person probably in my chat who works at FlyQuest, who said hey it's rock hope your week is starting i got this dm just during the work day today i want to reach out to see if you'd be interested in getting a jmook fly quest jersey i know you're a big jmook supporter and i would love to get you a free jersey so you can rep the mookster love your content all great P.S. You don't have glizzy hands. This is from the official FlyQuest account. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> well, it's not necessary. You know, there's no... It's A P.S. is for a letter, first of all. You don't need it in Twitter. It's, this is not a letter. It's just DM. You don't need a tag. You can just... <laughs> You can just say the nice thing. You know, I was, I was all ready to respond. And then I got a PS. You don't have closing hands. <clears throat> I had a good laugh. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thank you. FlyQuest is in chat, by the way. Everyone, shout out to FlyQuest. Um, I will rep that jersey for sure. Kind of weird that there's no, like, Atrioc branding on it, though. You know, since we're basically co-sponsors of JMOOC at this point. It's kind of like an HROC JMOOC partnership. HROC JMOOC FlyQuest triumvirate. <clears throat> you know, financially, we're both deeply involved. Uh, but I'm happy to rep the jersey, and thank you for reaching out. Uh, wait till he drops the PPS. <laughs> PPS, you do. <laughs> um. Uh, I did say PP. You got me on that one. So today we're going to be doing a bunch of marketing stuff. Lots of stuff to talk about. I'll be doing wins and fails first off. And then I will have my guest appearance, uh, which I will explain. I think, correct me if I'm schlong, but I've got all of my tabs ready uh, for wins and fails. I think I do. I think I do. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, maybe I do. Let's do a quick check here. Mm. Scrub Daddy guy, do you? No, no shot. Scrub Daddy guy is will happen. I actually am gonna let you guys know ahead of time. So right now, uh, if you guys don't know, I did a Shark Tank episode where I watched. The most successful Shark Tank pitch of all time, Scrub Daddy. At least at the time. I think it's been beaten by one by now. And I said some complimentary things about it. Anyway, the guy that owned Scrub Daddy and did the pitch saw my stream or the video, reached out to me, and wants to be on the broadcast, which is awesome, which is really, really cool. Um, but first, he had to take a month-long vacation because he's a billionaire. Or not a billionaire, <laughs> but a very wealthy he goes, well, where's Nuck? Because done so well. So he took the vacation. He has recently got back. He reached out to me. We're setting a date. I think we're going to go for Saturday. Uh, this upcoming Saturday. So there's a very real chance that this Saturday we will have a Scrub Daddy millionaire 
uh, a Shark Tank millionaire on the broadcast, talk about what it was like pitching, and maybe even watch a little Shark Tank with us to give his thoughts, maybe. Um, so it should be cool. Check him out. It'll be on Saturday. I think it'll be dope. It wasn't a vacation. It was a month-long preparation to be on your Marketing Monday. Well, it could have been that. <laughs> he had to go to a spiritual retreat and really think about everything you wanted to say. Uh, is he a minion? Can I just say that it is really awesome <laughs> when a single meme from a single stream drags on for weeks, months, <laughs> Years. Uh, to me, it's one of the coolest things that can happen with Twitch chat. It's like, wow. It's like, yes. Love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love when you do one sponsor stream with minions on it, and then people are talking about minions every stream. For the next. It's like, that is the coolest. So I just want to say, keep it up. Keep it up, King. It's the best. Mm. No, I'm not being sarcastic. I love it. Uh, we should have Bob from the Minions as a guest today. And what do you think he would say on Marketing Monday? Actually, speaking of that, <laughs> wait, it's actually an unironic, decent segue. Uh, well, maybe I'll save it for wins and fails. <laughs> but I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. We need to talk about how Minions actually has been quite successful. Um, yeah. <laughs> or we could say banana. <laughs> There's two options there. Hey, Amy, to stay for the five months. Um, first of all, the best type of marketing is marketing that doesn't feel like marketing. It makes the people feel like they're a part of it. And when it's done right, corporations think it's marvelous. They feed us these ideas and then we place them in our hearts to sit. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, Amy? This? <laughs> what, what kind of fucking poetry slam are you doing about? <laughs> what, what, are you, what the fuck are you saying? What are you talking about? <laughs> What? It's the most rambling, incoherent. No, no. I, I reject it for all sale. Uh, Stan Main, thank you for the uh, two months. When do we get a marketing Monday on a Sunday? So it's a Monday in Australia. <laughs> you think I'm going to start doing marketing Mondays early? <laughs> you think I'm so ahead of it? I'm going to start pulling them back a day. Yeah, man. Any day now. Any fucking week now. I got a fucking bridge to sell you. No, 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 no. I'm not doing a Sunday marketing Monday. Uh, or it could be a six days late marketing Monday, I guess. <laughs> uh, Billary Squinton, thank you for the uh, 20 months. Uh, and the amazing Hitman rap back in the day. I feel like you never get thanked enough for that. Board of Cold, thank you for the 21. My sub can drink. Shouldn't, but it can. Uh, uh, is Slurpee Day good marketing? I guess. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, it sells Slurpees. <laughs> it, it does sell Slurpees. I don't know if you need... Uh, do you work there? <laughs> Are you, like, putting up Slurpee Day signs and just hoping for uh, a boost? Um, Big A, I got served an ad for Jack Harlow KFC. What would your fast food crossover be? It's a good question. What would my fast food crossover be? Probably whoever pays me. <laughs> Don't want to rule anyone out here. <laughs> Chipotle, really. is. If I'm being dead honest, uh, if you count Chipotle's fast food, I eat Chipotle like a fucking... Chipotle goblin in the world created by George R. R. Martin later years, even later years when he needs the money and he sells out to Chipotle. Uh, I eat Chipotle almost every day. Chipotle is always cold. You mean cold in the good way or cold like the food is cold? Because <laughs> it's, it's not for me. The Big A Burrito? Uh, will you play God of War Ragnarok? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, no doubt that I will. I will not play that. Uh, let me check one thing. Uh, I might need my editors to upload today. Uh, 
Hey, Shrek, have you had Kadoba? Yeah, it's fucking ass, dude. What's your Chipotle order? My Chipotle order is a uh, chicken bowl. Chicken bowl, brown rice, fajita veggies, corn, lettuce, green salsa, uh, tomato, uh, guac, if I feel like it, and then uh, uh, beans. Yeah, black beans. And then I usually double up the chicken. Sign of wealth, you know? <laughs> what I'll do is they'll ask me if I want double chicken. And then I'll flash my watch and say, do you even need to ask? And then I'll, <laughs> you know, that's what I'll say is, uh, <laughs> and then I'll get on my scooter <laughs> and, and uh, start going home. I start clucking. <laughs> Yeah, I'll start clucking. Um, doubling the meat in a food shortage. Really? 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 That's, I, that's, you think I'm the problem? You think me getting double chicken at Chipotle is the fucking food shortage problem? And if I were to just cut back a little on my Chipotle order that I'm paying for, it, it would ever would be good. No one would go hungry anymore. That's fucking. <laughs> that is an interesting line of thought is all I'll say. That is an interesting line of thought. I feel like that is um... <laughs> a slippery slope. So true and wise, actually. Uh. What makes Shaq so marketable as a person? <laughs> Some of these questions are so strange. Are you Shaq's agent <laughs> trying to do your homework? What is that? What? What is that? Is such an? He's big. He's a big, friendly guy. He's funny. People like him. That, but it's obvious. Like you know, it's like think about why Shaq is likable. You already know. He also had an excellent basketball career. He he would be less marketable if he didn't have as many. Uh, <laughs> Successful seasons as he had. Um, am I likable? Well, I don't know, Water Jug. What's your? What would you say is your? How similar are you to Shaq? Is the real question that I ask. Um, J Web, thank you for the ten months. Max nine two, thank you for the prime. Uh, Sigma Fiesta, thank you for the eighteen months. Hey, is there any chance you could wish me a happy birthday? It's not my birthday. But I'll replay this VOD when it is. <laughs> That's such a stupid... I have to say no. I have to say no. You understand? Because by that line of thought, then I could be wishing every single person in chat a happy birthday and then at all times because they could always make this argument. What... <laughs> Okay, no, wait, better idea. Oh, okay, good. I got a better idea. No, chat, I want you to all collectively say happy birthday. We're going to wish happy birthday to everyone. I'm going to do it once, and then anyone can watch it whenever it's their birthday. Yes! Okay, let me get a happy birthday song going. And I'm going to be really sincere and heartfelt. Hey there. Is that my favorite chatter? I just want to tell you one thing, and that is happy, happy birthday. It's such an honor and a pleasure to have you in my chat, and for you to be another year older, it really means a lot to all of us, not just me, but everyone in chat. So just thanks again, and happy birthday. Hope it's a great one. Hope it's a special one. Hope all your... Uh, Friends and family are there, and I hope you just, you never forget it. Thanks again, and happy birthday, sincerely, from me to you. <laughs> Couldn't mean it more if I tried. And this is a real connection we're having right now. Happy birthday. Okay, that should, <laughs> that should wrap things up right quick. <laughs> and you just, uh, you just uh, clipped that one. <laughs> Interact this message is bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Unironically made me feel good. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Dude, I feel like the bar is too low. The bar is too low. People, it's, it's like the thing with the, the pride flag. People were in uh, Stan's chat like, a is actually a real ally. It's <laughs> But I, oh, I'm, it's a, I'm making the most baseline, like, sarcastic joke. And everyone's, like, <laughs> giving me more credit than I deserve for anything. <sighs> Good stuff. I, I, that's like I'm not a hero because I am a hero, obviously. Uh, and I am the world's biggest ally. That's not, No one questions that. It's just, like, come on. <laughs> Make it a little harder. <laughs> Uh, it's my partner's birthday and she's unironically smiling ear to ear. <laughs> and you next to her typing this. <laughs> By the way, good birthday date in HRAC Marketing Monday stream. I do love that. That's actually really smart. A little knowledge with the relationship always makes things go a long way. That's very smart. Uh, Got to give respect. Respect is due. <laughs> Big A, I finally caught a stream by you. Thanks for teaching me how to lose money on Stonk, Pog Champ. Really not what the point of my stream is about. <laughs> I think I'm actually, of all, of all people in the space at all, I think I'm one of the most consistent in saying, preaching caution and safety and uh, not taking obscene risks and gambling on leverage. And I feel like I'm <laughs> been, I was one of the earliest people to be critical of crypto and NFTs. I feel like I don't, I'm not really a pump and dump. Uh, uh, it's Shrock, how do we question? All right. So, so, Hey, we got to get to it. Uh, listen, I'd love to answer all these questions and they all seem fantastic. I'm sure none of them are stupid, but due to time constraints and the fact that I have a guest, I'm going to jump into wins and fail. Let me confirm with my guest that it's fine, that I actually have a little bit of a delay here because I am being a little delayed. Oops. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, confirming here with my guest. Confirming here with my guest. He's typing. He's typing, he's typing, he's typing. Still typing. It's not, you think I would do this elaborate bit where I'm typing to Bergsy? Because <laughs> I would, and you figured it out. Uh... Ooh, okay. Tell you what, it's a little late for him. So maybe, uh, you're saying it's perfect actually. Okay, fine. Uh, it's Mark Cuban dressed as Gru. <laughs> it is funny that I that I got Mark Cuban. I got him to dress as Gru. Like, I, I was like, hey, Mark, no. I know it's a little embarrassing, but it'll actually be great. It'll be great for your political career. People will love it. This will be a big idea for your, for you. And he's like, are you sure? Like, I don't know. Like, usually it's seems kind of goofy. And I was like, Mark, I swear to you, dude. Come on, come on, as Gru. And he said yes, which is crazy. And then he's here right now off camera in the Gru suit, and I'm still I'm still stalling. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you, jackass. <laughs> Wait over there, dude. Wait for your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, show him? I don't know. He might be a little shy, actually. Maybe we'll just get him to uh, say a couple of words off camera. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do and just right about now is jump into the wins and fails. But obviously, obviously, we can't go into wins and fails without a little help from you guys. So, um... I need you to do what I've always asked you to do. And that is, tag yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> what 
Welcome to Marketing Monday on a Monday for once. Uh, excited to talk about everything going on in the world of marketing and business. We're going to open with some wins and fails, and I want to start out with a big, massive W. Get your W's up, dude. Biggest W of all time going to every single person who has $1.3 million or more in net worth, which is not so much, you know, it's fine. It's like not a big deal because that is basically the net worth needed to be considered financially comfortable <laughs> in a lot of major U.S. metros. Now, it doesn't matter that the average or the median U.S. net worth is 121000 which is about, you know, 13 times smaller. Uh, <laughs> you can be comfortable in, you know, many of these cities with about uh, 1.3 million. Uh, around, if you average all the cities, about 774000 So as long as you've got a paltry $774,000, then you're financially comfortable. It doesn't mean necessarily that you can own a house. <laughs> Just as an example, as someone who lives, you know, in the in the California Bay Area, uh, and and I'm approaching numbers like these, I don't, <laughs> I can't buy a house. <laughs> so, uh, but it means you're financially comfortable, and that's uh, that's good. Um, so that's that's a big dub, you know, that's a big dub, and I'm sure that most of the, uh, everyone in my chatters, I'm sure, has about a couple million sitting around, so no worries. Uh, and the reason this is the case is because of this, another big dub. A big dub to landlords, yes! Finally a win for landlords because rent prices are growing four times faster than income. And the median national rent is now over 2K uh, for the first time in US history. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Finally a dub for the landlords, that's big um isn't that bad for landlords because no one will be able to pay eventually <laughs> yeah but in the short term it's bad for tenants who are looking around um <laughs> america wins again <laughs> i love landlords yeah just get four or five roommates in a one bedroom that sounds good um rent prices up no one wants to build people want to live in cities Landlords finally, I really needed this. Finally a W for the little guy. I know I talk about a lot about, you know, how businesses are, um, you know, just dominating the working class. But I think, end of the day, I feel like landlords get a bad rap. And if they can't raise their prices uh, dramatically, then what, what's the point? What's the point of them owning all that stuff? Uh, so big dub to landlords. Uh, glad they are raising prices so extremely. Um <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure that that won't lead to any bad outcomes. I'm sure that the cost of living going up dramatically uh, in all aspects of life while wages don't go up will not lead to any sort of recession or people taking on debt they can't afford or any sort of collapse in housing prices or anything. I don't think anything's going to happen. But unfortunately, people like me, optimists, are apparently a rare sight in Silicon Valley because I'm gonna give a big L to these um, Debbie Downer billionaires like Zuckerberg and Elon Musk because they are saying the complete opposite. Zuckerberg is saying, if I had to bet, I'd say this might be the worst downturn we've seen in recent history. I have to underscore that we're in serious times here. And in fact, has dramatically cut Meta's hiring plans. They're gonna hire far fewer people they were sending some job offers and they're basically battening down the hatches in anticipation of a serious recession. Cringe. <laughs> the good times are gonna roll on, Zuckerberg. And nobody wants to hear your robot ass <laughs> talk about how bad times are coming. Everyone in chat knows that all the crypto is gonna rebound, okay? Everything goes to the moon. <laughs> uh, inflation's not a real problem, who cares? And we're all gonna be back on track in no time. Plus, unlike most other chats, everyone here has a healthy supply of Atrocoin, which allow them to sort of cover the, you know, any expenses gaps. They're good. They're good. And uh, Elon's, you know, similarly being a downer uh, by also laying off people. 
So uh, Zuckerberg didn't lay anyone off, really. They just cut hiring plans. They're not going to hire as many people. Tesla took it a step further, and they're just laying off workers they just hired. <laughs> Which is, you know, kind of one of the most despicable things you can do is make someone a job offer so they leave their previous job, and they come over to your company, and they move on oftentimes because you've required a, a mandatory 40 hours in office, and then you immediately... <laughs> Immediately lay off 10% of your workforce and fire them, uh, as well as withdrawing employment offers that they've already accepted. So um, months or even weeks ago, they've been laid off. An intern had his full-time offer rescinded while a recruiter was let go after two weeks. Uh, yeah, but they get a discount on Tesla they can't afford. So that's that's pretty good. That's a good point. So again, these guys are being a bit of a downers. Um, Elon Musk has said that he fears bad times are coming and that's going to be extra bad. And I just think, come on. You know, how bad could it possibly be? <laughs> how bad could it be? Because on the upside, big W, I mean, Disney's doing well because they're now offering for, listen, yes, yes, things are getting more expensive. But at the end of the day, when you pay a bigger price, you get bigger quality, which is why I want to give a big dub to the men and women at Disney for this excellent, excellent, not tone deaf idea at all of offering a $5,000 <laughs> Kyber crystal drink at their Star Wars resort. Uh, they just opened already exorbitantly expensive. It's already extremely pricey, but while you're there, get the most expensive drink in the galaxy a hyperspace lounge, $5,000 Kyber crystal drink. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see what you get. Imagine you just put down $5,000 for this drink. Let's see what you get, you know? By the way, $5,000 in Las Vegas, for example, for bottle service, you will have like 14 people flanking your table. You'll have fireworks. And even that is incredibly overpriced, but you'll have... A table in a hot club with, you know, a bunch of models at your table. Yeah. But what do you get? What do you get with Disney for $5,000? I just want to know. Is it behind the paint can? You get Nick from Disney in a polo. Really authentic. <laughs> Cheers and welcome on board the Disney Wish. Watching it was worth it, dude. I might just mail him a check for 5K for that. I got chills. I felt like I was really there. When Nick in his lanyard <laughs> said beautiful, I felt that. How much do I owe you for showing us this? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll pay for all your, your viewing fees that Disney charged me for seeing this. Um, so things must be going good. The economy is definitely not bifurcating into a ever shrinking pool of halves and everyone else with nothing. <laughs> no, it's a, this is a health, this is a sign of a healthy economy. Uh, when people are buying $5,000 novelty shots <laughs> on a $6,000 Disney two day cruise, um, things are good. So big thumbs up, uh, great. And also, listen, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna misrepresent here. Um, not all these companies are doing well. We are in interesting times. Uh, everyone is trying to find a way to adapt to the new environment where borrowing cheap capital is no longer cheap, and debt has become more and more expensive. And a lot of these zombie companies, Disney's not one of them, but a lot of these zombie companies have been relying on cheap borrowed capital in order to stay afloat. And with that out of the way, people are struggling and trying to make ends meet. So I want to give a big dub to a company that found an absolutely genius new way to keep that revenue flowing in. Uh, and this comes from Visual Basic 97 on Twitter. My friend had a job interview, but it turned out to be an elaborate parking scam. They make you park in a specific parking structure and charge you $30 and then give you a 10 minute BS interview. Genius. Genius! What a great way to keep the money flowing. 
fake job interviews to waste prospective employees' times. That's the grussel. That's what it's about. When I talk about visionaries, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, okay? The guy that came up with this idea. People that are innovating the business world. Huge dub to that guy. Uh, actually, has anyone in chat encountered anything like this? Because I haven't heard about this, but it feels on the real so incredibly scummy. <laughs> it feels, it's like one of the scummiest things I can think of. Uh, because the person is literally trying to work for you. And <laughs> like... You know what I'm saying? If you hire an employee, ostensibly, you're already making money on their labor. You're already paying them a lot less than what they're making for you. And so it's already profitable. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? But instead, you are literally tricking them into thinking they can do low-paid wage labor for you so you can steal their money on parking. That's that's wild. <laughs> I get this all the time on Indeed. Here's one thing I want to say because I... I so when I was at, this is a little uh, bit of a offshoot. When I was at Mogul Money Live, a lot of people, a lot of people told me that they got into marketing or they were taking marketing in college because of Marketing Monday. And while that is very flattering, um, and I'm happy for them, and I told them all the same thing. I said, I hope you actually like it. Because <laughs> if you don't, I, you know, don't, don't let me sway you. Because what I want to say is marketing is one of the majors where, uh, not necessarily this, but there's a lot of um, fraudulent job applications. For sure. I think real jobs and real marketing where you can, and again, entry level is harder, but once you get up to it, you can, and you can be a little bit creative are, are fun and rewarding. And if you like, you'll have a great time. But at the, at the intro level in the marketing, there is an absolute preponderance, a glut of uh, fake scam uh, job offers. Cause people think it's interesting. They want to get into it and then they get, they get baited and switched. Um, so um, I've never seen fake interviews, but I've, I've seen a bunch of, of fake, uh, fake, or not fake, but like scammy or like they're essentially direct sales or they're multi-level marketing or a lot of things that are around that and they get wrapped up and they get called like a cool marketing job and it's, it's not what they're at. So, um, I would just say, you know, be careful. Um, if you really like doing it, absolutely keep continuing. And I'm sure you can find, uh, a it's a growing field there. Every company has, you know, marketing departments, but um, there are also many scams. Um, so many, yeah, there's a lot of direct sales and that's like, that's, that's not what it is as a profession. Um, so you get, you get bait and switched. Um, I love door to door marketing where I can potentially make six figures despite it being, <laughs> yeah, direct sales for a company with no name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're also making money on what you do. <laughs> uh, Financial planning is harder to get away from fraud stuff. It's like every three jobs is an MLM. That's crazy too. It's just, listen, I, I, um, I thought, I mean, it was hard when I was doing it and it's been a while and things have gotten crazier. I only hear from people, but my understanding is that entry level job searching right now is a fucking nightmare. And this, but you know what? It's in a good job market. Like right now at this exact moment, I mean, companies are still like bending over to try and get employees at, at almost every level. So um, I can only imagine <laughs> it's what it's going to be like in a year. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I gave out a win. I gave out a win to that ingenious company um, for coming up with that plan of scanning people out of with parking fund. Um, I also want to give a win for this Nigerian official who figured out a really clever way to get out of any hard questions you don't want to answer. Usually what I'll do if I'm ever in a meeting is I'll say, let's take this offline. <laughs> That's my code word for let's get out of this question. But if you want to see an absolute genius plan, this guy just fake faints after he's grilled about missing funds, basically uh, embezzled funds from the government that were stolen. He gets brought up on trial to discuss it and he just fake faints. Are you aware that every expenditure you make from 31st May till date are not are not <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 
so embarrassing. Uh, Are you aware that? Anyway, don't grill him anymore, okay? Come on, can't you see he's fainting? Let's stop talking about all this millions in government funds embezzled. Uh, he definitely full commit. <laughs> so, what I was thinking is, you know, we're gonna try to learn business lessons here. If any of you are ever asked by your teacher, for example, did you do the homework or did you do the assignment? Just faint. Or if you're at your work and your boss asks, did you do the whatever we needed to be have done? Just faint. It's 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 a kind. It seems foolproof. <laughs> It seems like there's no real quack. Don't write this down. Quack. If I ask you for a, <laughs> the video tomorrow and you faint, we're going to have a real problem. <laughs> I'm talking to them. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I wanted to say, so listen, uh, uh, We've been talking about some companies doing bad, some companies doing good. I want to say, I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest companies in the world who, thank God, are still holding well in these difficult times. And I found this website that will show me how much money they make in profit per second. So as we are talking, Apple has made $7,000, $8,000, $10,000, $12,000, $14,000 in profit. Uh, as we're going on, Microsoft making $14,000 now. Bank of America making $11,000. This is awesome. I mean, this is good. This is good. Things are still healthy. Good for them. I'm glad they're doing so well. Honestly, uh, this is this is this is good. You know, it's fine. But what I found more interesting about all this is not that Apple's doing well. I think we all knew that. Profit Apple makes $150,000 a day in profit. Again, this is profit, not revenue. This is after they paid all expenses. Um, again, not necessarily, not necessarily a bad thing if they're paying their employees well and get benefits. Again, Apple doing well is not necessarily a bad thing. What's funny though is if you scroll down on this list to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the very, very bottom. You might notice a company that's not making profit. <laughs> you might notice that in the time we've been talking, Uber has lost like $16,000. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, actually, well, more than that. Uh, let's see, profit per hour. In about an hour, they're going to lose a million dollars. By the end of the hour, Uber will have lost a million dollars. Um, they are bleeding money profusely Every second that they are alive. Um, it is a company that makes no financial sense in the current way that it operates. And unless they invent self-driving cars that are mass adoptable and soon, it doesn't really make a lot of sense for investors to keep funding this money fire. Uh, so they have to raise prices dramatically, which they've already been doing, or uh, scale back operations. One of the two is going to have to happen. I mean, this is this is an extremely obscene uh, <laughs> level of loss. Now, um, there is some good news, though. There is some good news, and I don't want to paint it all in a bad light because Uber put out a report recently. And, you know, I, I think it's a great um, tie-in for wins and fails when a company admits they have some wins and some fails. And so Uber put out in their recent safety report that sexual assaults are down. <laughs> Big win. But rate of traffic deaths is up. So it's kind of a wash. It's kind of a wash over at Uber. You are less likely to be sexually assaulted, but slightly more likely to die. And that's, you know, that's, it's a, you take the good with the bad at the end of the day. And the fact that they cancel each other out. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's such a crazy time. Breaking even can't hurt. Can't hurt. So big, I'm not say overall win to Uber. Overall win. Yes, you're losing money, but <laughs> by God, you're making progress. Can't be assaulted if you're dead, Pog. <laughs> Probably the first time that sentence has ever been uttered. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see if there's anything else from that report I want to say. Um, no, that's good. Uh, anyway, uh, all of these companies that I've mentioned are doing quite well. But uh, I think some of you have mentioned you have problems with them. First of all, I have to say that having a problem with a big corporation is kind of cringe because they're a big corporation, right? So you understand that they're more valuable than you in every way and that having a problem with them when you're a peon feels kind of weird, right? You understand that? But if you don't get that, then there is a way that you can make your voice heard. There is a way. And a Nintendo fan just discovered it. And I want to give him a big win because this Nintendo fan discovered 
that if you want to make your voice heard to a big corporation, all you have to do is buy $40,000 in stock to ask the Nintendo president at a shareholder meeting about reviving your favorite game, (laughs) F-Zero. Which is a pretty giga-chad move. And I gotta be honest with you, it's actually not nearly the dumbest thing. Because when you think about it, there is absolutely a person that bought $80,000 of Fire Emblem mobile game gotcha heroes <laughs> for no gain, no stock, and no conversation. He has JPEGs of Fire Emblem girls. This guy has $40,000 of tradable Nintendo stock that can appreciate in value, and he got to knock to uh, the president about reviving his game. I think that's a better trade. I think he got more out of it. <laughs> if, you can, if you are a gotcha addict, just get into... <laughs> Get into stock trading. If you are a gotcha addict, you will just pretend, just put a JPEG of an anime girl over every stock and get into investing. It'll be better for you. I promise in the long run, it'll be better (laughs) because at least you're getting something. And speaking of that, I'd like to take a moment and thank the sponsor of today's Marketing Monday, Public. (laughs) Public Public.com has not yet implemented the feature that I've asked for where you can put an anime girl on every single stock that you talk about. But if you want up to $300 in free stock, Go to public.com slash atriarch. Sign up for an account. This is the best stock trading app. This is the one I use all the time. I say that honestly for two reasons. One, it has a very clean, easy to use interface. Other apps have that. But this one does not sell information on your trades to hedge funds as the primary way it makes money. It only makes money from uninvested money that sits around in accounts, which is much more ethical. Uh, It also allows you to invest in shares fractionally and has cool news articles and things about stocks that you want to trade so you can get up to date with news and information about stuff that you're interested in. I find it to be a awesome app. I use it in the morning, check my stocks, um, and I'm happy to recommend it. And people have used it so far, and I think I've had good experiences. I haven't had anyone message me about bad experiences. So if you're interested in checking it out, public.com slash HROC, $300 in free stock. Um, thanks again to them for sponsoring Marketing Money and supporting the stream. And uh, that's that. Uh, and also, if you can tape, you can tape anime pictures to the uh, screen over the stock, and it still works quite well. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks again to public. Um, <laughs> I'm in Canada. Well, then obviously you don't have any money, right? They obviously public can't open in Canada because you can't trade maple leaves and moose dung. Like you, you understand? Like <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude, but there, there's no no one's gonna accept loonies, dude. It, it's not it's not real currency. <laughs> You understand, like, it's not, <laughs> I don't want to, I feel like I'm being mean, I'm, I, and I know that you're a very nice people, but it's like, you're, it's, none of it's going <laughs> to, it doesn't trade for anything. I'm talking about real economies, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so we're talking about wins and fails. I want to give a, let's just be honest on this one. <laughs> I know I've done this very clever thing sometimes where I'll say it's a win when it's a fail, and I'll say it's a fail when it's a win, and everyone goes, that is clever. I'm going to just be honest and say this is one of the worst brand tweets I've ever seen. EA tweeted, they're a 10. By the way, incredibly late to that meme. They're a 10, but they only like playing single-player games. I can't think of a worse company to deliver this joke. This joke is already bad. It's already a bad joke. It's like... The messenger matters. This is the worst messenger for this joke of all time. (laughs) You are already roasted so much for canceling great single player games and turning previously great single player franchises into like loot box fests. (laughs) How are your tweets worse than your game? Oh, nice ratio by Dunkey. Didn't even see that. (laughs) Give that a like. Uh... (laughs) Yeah, I, 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 I'm stunned. Who thought this was a good idea there? I, 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 I have to reward, reward this with the first or one of the first sincere fails. This is a sincere fail. And I can't believe it's still up. Just at 4.33 p.m. End of the day, the social media manager clocks in and says, I'm going to just drop this turd and go home. <laughs> at 4.30 Oh, God, I would hate to be in that 9 a.m. meeting the next day. Did they backtrack? 
Oh, Connor. Uh, let's see. What, what did they backtrack? What do they? Res do they have any follow? Oh, they're gonna have so many crap. It's National Video Game Day. GGs all around. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? You're good again. You know what, EA? Everyone gives you a hard time. But when you spoke my language, when you said GGs all around, I felt like you truly understood me. as a Not as just a gamer, but as a person. And for that, you're back in my good graces. Uh, what did they say? Roast well-deserved. We'll take this L because playing single-player games actually makes them an 11. <laughs> Oh shit! Saved. <laughs> Whew! I was worried that was gonna be cringe. <laughs> Whew! I was worried that was gonna be cringe, but you came back with an absolute banger of a tweet. Same day too. Same day. Oh, 8:07 p.m. Oh no, dude. Oh, so they got hit at the end of a workday, and then their boss probably hit him with an email. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why am I seeing Kotaku articles about EA makes the worst tweet of all time? What's going on? And then he had to fucking brainstorm. Probably got four people in a room doing overtime. Uh, trying to come up with the fucking right line to say to handle it. Oh, dude, I've been in situ some situations because I remember I made the tweet. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I'll, I'll give you a quick recap. I made the tweet back when I worked at Twitch. Um... Yeah, I made the, the... Wait, is the Mixer account dead? Wait, did, did, is the Mixer account dead? Oh my god, it is! Oh my god! They straight up closed it down. This is the real loss. I'm doing a live fail. This is not a win. This is a fail. We've lost our history. You take away, you take away a mixture of the streams. Nobody cares. No one watches. <laughs> but you take away a mixture of the tweets, and we lose our history. We lose our legacy. We lose our sense of who we are. Very sad. Um, I have no idea how to find the tweet now. Uh. Oh, I found it <laughs> in one second. <laughs> it was this tweet. I just Googled Twitch Cava tweet. So I made this tweet. Uh, by the way, single-handedly killing Mixer. No one, no one thanked me. Single-handedly, when I worked at Twitch, I made this tweet unprompted with no approval from higher-ups. I just fucking took my phone and yeeted it out. Single-handedly killed Mixer. No big deal. No big deal. Never got a, never got a parade. <laughs> uh, Single-handedly saved Twitch from the incoming mixture threat. Microsoft is a huge company spending a lot of money at that E3. I crushed him with one tweet. How many likes? 10,000. Pretty good for the account of the time. Um, so uh, anyway, I dropped this tweet and I got, I mean, this is at 1.25 p.m. I guarantee I was getting calls as late as midnight. <laughs> at least 11. Like 11, 11, 11 p.m. I was still on the phone. Uh, I was still on the phone. It went to my boss, then my boss's boss, then my boss's boss's boss. Then I was talking to like some marketing exec at Amazon who bought the company. I mean, it, it, I had to go up the chain, dude. I got, I got in trouble. I got in trouble. <laughs> I thought it was funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> How did you keep the tweet? I'm not going to delete the tweet. <laughs> what is there to call about? It was, um, listen, Amazon is a customer first company. We are customer obsessed. We are not competitor obsessed. In the eyes of Amazon, we don't have competitor. You know, like <laughs> the idea is we, we don't even mention competitors. We never even look at them. Um, and so the fact that I brought it up was, uh, was a big deal. <laughs> uh, uh, so you know end of the day 
uh, that's what happened, and uh, uh, that's and I, 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 I had absolutely to talk about it for days. I talked about it all that day. I didn't take it down. We didn't have to apologize. Here's the thing is, while I was still, I was scared. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to pretend like I was fucking Mr. Brave. I was like 20, 24 at the time, 23, 24, when I made that tweet. And I only been the company a couple years. And I, you know, so I wasn't like, and Amazon was calling. And I was, so I was definitely like nervous, but I didn't, I never just said, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, I, I made my point in every single call. I was when I was like, hey, listen, I know the community. Um, this wasn't a mean-spirited tweet. Uh, I've been at E3 talking to streamers. Everyone seems to like it. Um, makes you're spending a lot of money. You know, I, I had a good argument. End of the day, they just kept repeating the same line. But nobody ever said, like, no, you're taking it down. So I feel pretty good about how I handled it. Mm. Uh, sorry, Mr. Bezos. Thanks for calling me directly. Um Hey, truck. I said, "Excuse me to my mom and sister today, and they didn't notice. Thank God, but I blame you. It's worse. If you say excuse me to somebody and they don't notice, they are not listening to you ever. <laughs> That's worse. You should be worried that your mom and sister don't even hear you when you talk. If they don't immediately point out what, what, what? Why'd you say it? Like, why'd you say that? <laughs> it doesn't, you can't slip that into a conversation and come out unnoticed. Uh... Um, where was I? I was giving, uh, oh yeah. So we're, we're, oh, wait, 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 let me move fast here. Um, that was my dub. Let me give you a bada bing, bada bing. Uh, oh yeah, bro. Fail to <laughs> Google turns out, despite the fact that they're making absolute tons of money, as we saw in that previous graph. Um, apparently this is a real trend. I've talked about this before, but like this sort of hammered at home for me. A lot of people especially younger people are replacing Google searches with TikTok searches. This is not a joke. And so I saw this interesting uh, TikTok video about it. I have someone just saying it. Um, I don't Google anymore. I TikTok. I want to buy a new face mist, a new face product. TikTok. Not sure how to cook something. TikTok. Like, why would I Google something? And I can go on TikTok, watch a 15 second video, gives me the full lowdown on how to make something, if something's good, how to use something. I get like a little visual of it and it's literally so easy. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Well, she's definitely not the, as, <laughs> as odd as I find it, because I don't think you can actually learn much in a 15 second video on anything of, <laughs> anything that I think I would Google. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I can't imagine, especially a TikTok video, because half the time it's going to be more entertainment than it is substance. But, um, but she is not the only one. This is a, a rising trend that has even Google scared. In fact, it's become kind of interesting uh, business-wise that TikTok has become the closest thing we've had to a quote-unquote super app in the West. Now, in China, for example, there are a few key apps that are called super apps that basically have tons of different things embedded in them. So like you might um, do ride hailing and like a mixture of Uber, Venmo, Twitter, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're, a lot of these apps are merged into one and you just have these incredibly powerful apps. WeChat is the example. Yeah, WeChat is, a, WeChat is a very incredibly powerful app that does payments, it does ride hailing, it does travel booking, it does chat with friends and family and it also does like social posts. Everything's in one app and these apps are incredibly powerful. And in the West, we we've, we've, we've haven't had that so much, mostly because of attempts to stop it by uh, Apple and Google, who use the fact that they own the, the stores as uh, a way to stop any one app from getting too powerful, because that could replace their OSs from being too powerful. So Google and Apple act as the super apps, the overarch everything, that everything goes under, but they're still separate apps. And uh, TikTok is the strongest competitor they've had to that, that, that old system, that older system. Because TikTok is now becoming the one-stop source of the internet for a lot of people. It's growing very rapidly. It's competing not just with uh, Facebook anymore, but now it's competing with YouTube. It's competing with Google. It's competing with uh, a lot of different internet apps all at once. Um, so it's interesting to see that play out. That's why you see so many apps. Almost every single app is intending to steal everything that has TikTok has. TikTok's... Um, the way its algorithm works, the way its scrolling works, the short-form video... Every app is trying to borrow and pinch from TikTok because it's a war now um, that TikTok is is making great grounds in. Um, 
why is there a link blanking at the top of the other side? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, even Etsy. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the next step for TikTok would surely be shopping on TikTok. Payments or shopping on TikTok would be an absolute way for them to unlock a ton of money. And I have no doubt they're thinking about it and trying to make it happen. Especially because uh, live stream and like social media based shopping is massive in China. And so there's no way they're not going to try and make it happen for TikTok. Um, uh, so interesting, I just want to give uh, a, a, I guess failed it to uh, that. Now I want to give, um, I want to, this is a, I don't do this often on Marketing Monday. I usually talk about news or businesses, but uh, originally this, this show used to mention a lot more like ads. I would just look at ads and talk about how I felt about them. And so I saw two ads. Um, you know how when you're scrolling through Reddit or Instagram, there'll just be a little social ad. Uh, that I'll just pop in in between the content. Um, and everyone, almost everyone just scrolls right past. I saw two ads while I was scrolling uh, this past week that <laughs> made me stop. One of them I thought was very good. <laughs> one of them I thought was very good. I want to spot like that one and give that a win. And then one of them I think is one of the worst ads that I've ever seen in the history of my career as a marketer and as someone who uses the internet. <laughs> and again, when you're talking about ads, there's like a curve, right? Um, where it's either really good so it's interesting or it's really bad so it's interesting. So the worst ad you see is not the really bad one. The worst ad is the most boring. How can you find the single most boring ad possible? <laughs> and that is what I found when I was scrolling Reddit, I got an ad that made me stop. I scrolled past this and then I thought about it for one second. I scrolled back and I was like, they literally found every single way to took anything of interest out of this ad. The copy is amp up the moment. Wherever the day or night takes you and your crew, spark something special. The person, it, it, something special. The brand is nothing. They say nothing of value about the product. There is no shot that any single person who saw this ad stopped, clicked it, and bought Neon Burst. Zero. There is no call to action. There's nothing unique or interesting. If you are interested, in, even if you like energy drinks, there's nothing to call you to this. I Only me. So here's what I thought. Maybe the, the, the idea here, maybe I should give them an actual win instead of a fail. Their idea was there has to be a guy out there who's a marketing manager at a tech company who also does a stream on the side where he talks about ads. And if we target an ad to him, that's so boring that he'll stop and screenshot it. He'll play it for free and talk about it to 4,000 people. And if they thought of that, it's genius. And if they didn't, it's actually the fucking most stupid ad I've ever seen ever. The person who did this, it, it looks like AI generated, dude. <laughs> there is nothing to even grab onto. It's like a, it's like a smooth service. There is no edge. They put nothing of interest in this ad. Um, the guy doesn't even look that happy to be drinking it. <laughs> so I don't know. I, just, I was just shocked. I've never seen an ad that was so deliberately born. They shaved off every possible edge. Uh, the copy, the, the photo, the Photoshopped in uh, product, the top level, everything. Everything about it is bad. So I, I just wanted to give a shout out to that. On the other side, you know, you see a lot of these ads on Reddit that try to use memes. And they're usually pretty cringe this ad uh from rajahi indian restaurant i thought was kind of good <laughs> it's this classic meme of the uh the giga chad uh wow that man looks very happy with his launch i wish i could be just like him wow i am really enjoying this shahi naan and butter chicken from rajahi indian restaurant <laughs> i want what he is having yeah <laughs> i like it <laughs> to be honest I like it. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's interesting. I'm certainly more likely than I was before I saw the ad to, if I lived near this uh, restaurant, to try it out. 100%. I 100% would be more likely to try it. I think it's interesting. And so, uh, uh, so I thought, I thought it was like, it's like, it's authentically bad in a funny way. Unlike this one, which is incredibly boring. So I'm going to give a win to this one and a fail to this one. And again, I have to move fast here. So continuing. Um, oh, big win. Oh, wait, you know what? Here, maybe I didn't even skip these. We got time. I, I, I'll skip these. 
Um, yeah, listen, I've had this before. <laughs> uh, call it a winner or a fail. Crypto's doing terrible. Uh, uh, NFTs, 12-month low, buddy. NFTs, 12-month low. Cryptocurrency crash. NFTs continue to drop. It's not like every, you know, Bitcoin is kind of held steady around 20K. NFTs continue to drop. Each month is worse than the last. Sales are less and, and smaller. And it got so bad, I'm just saying it's a two-part, that <laughs> Chevy, which launched their first NFT recently, offered an actual car with it. There was a free 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Z06 included with the NFT, and they could not sell it. <laughs> a total of zero bids. <laughs> It was an NFT with a Corvette attached, and they got no bids. Not a, not even a bid. Uh, so things are not looking up in the NFT world, but thankfully GameStop just opened their NFT marketplace. Bro, can I take a quick pause? This is not a win or a fail. Please stop believing in whatever GameStop says. <laughs> Please, I understand the hedgies. I understand we want to get them. I understand. The GameStop at this point is just saying every fucking buzzword they can to keep the stock high while all of the actual management dumps their shares so that you buy them and eventually this thing goes back to fucking $4. I, I, there was a moment, okay, where the hedges were all net short and, and everyone could buy it and squeeze it and make some money and we would get stick it to the Wall Street. That moment is past. They are no matter what you hear from the increasingly desperate voices on Reddit, that moment is past. There is no <laughs> amazing squeeze to the moon coming. And so I would like you, if you are <laughs> worried or you're putting too much money into it and you're not just gambling, to be really careful because <laughs> the CEO is dumping his stock, the chief financial officer is dumping his stock. It's uh it's it's absolutely a scam. They're talking about things like uh uh NFT marketplaces, dude. GameStop launches NFT marketplace as it hunts for growth in digital fueled turnaround. It, it, <laughs> this is the desperation. This is like last moments of Radio Shack. So I just, I, that's all I'd say is just be careful. All right. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm not your fucking financial advisor and I'm not your boss and I'm not your dad, but <laughs> uh, be careful is my, is my honest advice. Uh, anyway, moving quickly. Um, okay. I have one more. Actual win and fail. And then we're going to get into this new segment I called Europe, the land that time forgot. <laughs> Name pending. Europeans help me out. I'm just, I, I, I need to, uh, I need to figure out how I'm going to cover all the news in Europe. So you help me with that. The last win and fail goes to, um, it's a win and it's a win. So it's a win to essential workers. Okay. People on the front lines, because guess what? There has been a divide in this country between people who have to work, um, retail, um, stocking shelves, warehouse type jobs. Okay. Any customer facing jobs and they can't work from home. Okay. And so a lot of white collar workers in their ivory towers, wearing their Enron hats can just, uh, work from home and other people have to go into the office. Okay. And so I want to give a win to the absolute geniuses at Freshie and all essential workers who have a new option. <laughs> Make $3.75 an hour as a virtual cashier. <laughs> this is good. Now you can work from home as a cashier. Not have to go in. Genius. And just make absolutely sub minimum wage, insane money. I mean, it's almost like you're playing a video game. It's so fun. We do not need unions. <laughs> Corporations are going to give us this kind of stuff. We don't need unions. This is awesome. Uh, they've started out in Nicaragua, Pakistan, and Bolivia, but they are trying to go global with this idea and this plan to really keep that human experience. Uh, at this point, I mean, doesn't everyone just want a robot? <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is sadder. Like at this point, I would just take the McDonald's screen. 
Because if I have to talk to somebody making 375 over a probably breaking <laughs> cashier system with a delay, it's gonna it's sad for both of us. It's it it seems awful. I don't see the gain, but uh, it apparently has been doing well. So they're gonna try and roll it out globally. We're gonna see how that how that works. Hopefully, uh, there's some sort of pushback <laughs> from governments about minimum wage laws. Um, just pre-record. Well, yeah. I, I guess you could have a bunch of different options. <laughs> don't, don't give them ideas, bro. One person will be the fucking face of every fast food franchise for the rest. <laughs> There'll be nothing. Uh, all right. Enough about wins and fails here in boring old America for the rest of the world. Let's talk about Europe. This is my new segment. What's going on in Europe? Europe, the only time I forgot. Um, how do I say this? What is happening in Europe? Well, first of all, the euro's not doing well. <laughs> the euro, the currency of most of Europe except for the UK, is down 20%, while the dollar is actually up 11%. So for the first time that I've seen, or at least in the past like 20 years, uh, the euro and the dollar are now worth the same, which means, uh-oh, back to America. It's a win. <laughs> if you're going on vacation in Europe, your dollar will go a lot further. Your dollar will go a lot further. Woo, that's good because we have massive inflation in both locations. So uh, you need to find a way to stretch whatever you're making. Um, the reason things are looking so bad in Europe is because they are facing three critical forces that have caused them to look like this. <laughs> uh, their currency is at a 20-year low. Inflation is at a 20-year high. And energy prices are skyrocketing they are not going to be able to have for example air conditioning uh in a very hot summer because uh-oh russia shut off a key natural gas pipeline today now they said it was for planned maintenance but a lot of what speculation is saying is they're not going to turn it back on without concessions from europe um on a lot of the sanctions they're doing and so um this is bad because a lot of the energy that um, Europe gets is from Russia and it's already a strained relationship, obviously, and it's already tough for them to acquire it. So with this turnoff, there could be a serious problem uh, for the summer and the foreseeable future in Europe, causing energy prices to spike, causing the price of everything to spike because if energy goes up, gas goes up, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a dangerous time in Europe. Honestly, no, no, um, not even a joke. If you're in Europe, I'm, I'm making jokes at the beginning because it's really funny. Uh, but it is a crazy time and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm actually serious. It's, <laughs> I wish for a peaceful resolution and hope things work well. Well, that being said, that being said, um, that being said, I want to say if you're in the UK, there might be a solution. There might be a solution. <laughs> okay. Europe, maybe you're not doing so well, but the UK has a solution because housing prices are still out of control. And with the value of both the uh, um, the British pound and the euro declining, you know, you don't, your, your, your money doesn't go as far. Your savings don't go as far. And it can be tough to afford a house. There's a solution. Coming out of the UK, 50-year mortgages that your children can inherit. <laughs> so that way you could take out a 50-year loan to buy a house. And then when you die, your children can keep paying that debt. Because right now, houses are kind of unaffordable for the average person because the average uh, home loan caps at 30 years, which requires a very high interest payment. But they can get that interest payment down to a regular monthly payment as long as you go for 50 years. So that's a big win. <laughs> this is awesome. Congrats to all the UK um, frogs in chat who are now able to buy a home. <laughs> The 50-year mortgages are dirt cheap. Well, the 50-year mortgages are about, I believe, 3%, 3.5, something like that, which is what the normal mortgage was about a year ago. <laughs> but everything spiked since then. So uh, anyway, we'll see. Uh, it doesn't seem like a great idea, but it might be the only way for people to buy a house. Actually, I would say, I'm being serious. If I'm, if I'm, I'm cutting it serious and not, don't do this. Because especially right now, <laughs> Especially right now, as it looks like housing prices are going to fall. Do not take out a 50-year mortgage. 
to buy at probably the top. I would say that's got to be one of the worst. That's an Elon Musk level contract to sign. And you're going to want to get out of that. And you don't have Elon Musk's ability to get out of contracts he already signed. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I'll get a 75-year one. Good idea. That, yeah. Dude, get a 1,000-year one. <laughs> Let's do 1,000-year mortgages. We can leave the house and very small monthly payments to the generations yet unborn. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Let's get a 1,000-year mortgage and fucking put it on my great, 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 great granddaughter. She can figure it out, dude. She'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't, don't want to figure it out. Let her do it. <laughs> Pass the buck. <laughs> uh, okay, continuing on. That's, 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 oh, one more thing in Europe. Hey, you know what? Russia's cutting off gas. Uh, the euro's down. Things are looking bad. But we have scored a major victory over the Russians in this past month. Do you guys remember? In the last wins and fails, when I said that every McDonald's in Russia had been taken over and replaced by, uh, what was it, Tasty and nothing else or whatever it was, they made a different McDonald's in Russia. The green, remember that? Well, we got to win. We got to win, baby. Because that immediately went to shit. <laughs> and Russians are getting served moldy burgers in the replacement restaurants. So when they say tasty and nothing else, tasty and mold, <laughs> maybe the green, maybe that's what the green logo meant. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Russian social media is abuzz with a lot of disgusting mold-based burgers. Quality control has gone to shit since McDonald's no longer took over the restaurants. Uh, they don't have the same level of uh, you know supply chain and quality control training, et cetera, that McDonald's has practiced over the years. And so the the teardown in quality has been quick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so even though Russia is beginning to grind down the war in Ukraine, they are losing on the home front. This is our only shot. So um, that's enough about Europe, though. I want to get to an even more popular segment, and then I will close wins and fails. Sorry, it's been so long. I want to get to the ever popular. You know it. You love it. Say it with him. Say it with him. You know his face. <laughs> what's up, Beijing? What's up, Beijing? Let's see what's going on in China. And let me tell you, what's going on in China is uh, insane. Uh, actually, legitimately crazy in the past day. I mean, this happened today, so I'm. this is all live. Uh, there are massive bank protests and bank runs going on in China. Not even at small banks, although definitely major small banks are getting swamped. Major banks are getting swamped. People want their money out now. Uh, people are afraid they're going to lose their savings. Uh, protests are happening. There's been violence. There's been conflicts with uh, police, which is extremely rare, rare in China. But what's happening is, uh, I mentioned this you know, months ago, the collapsing uh, Evergrande, remember that? With the, the real estate uh, property developers in China have started to dissolve. And it turns out, as I mentioned in that video about five, six months ago, that was back in November actually, which is thankfully when I sold all my stock. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, there is what's called contagion, you know? It's not like uh, Evergrande and real estate developers do bad and that's it. It turns out that major banks of China had been loaning money to property developers to build things, okay? Because they, they take out... What happens is a developer takes out a massive loan, builds something with it, and then sells that for more than the loan was and then pays back the loan. That's the idea, right? That's how it works. Um, unfortunately, Chinese banks made massive loans to all of these developers who are now underwater or down 90% in their stock, and they are having a liquidity crisis, which means they don't have enough money to pay out people that are trying to withdraw, which makes people scared. If you go to the bank and they don't have enough money for you to take out your money, you freak out, get on social media, talk about it, and then everyone shows up trying to get their money, and then the problem is worsened. And then they get scared and angry and, you know, you can't get your savings. So right now, there's chaos and panic. Realistically, um, you know, the Chinese government will have to step in in some way to guarantee everyone's money and, and smooth things over. They're going to have to step in. They're going to have to do some sort, of, some sort of bailout, whether they do it publicly or privately, wherever they hide it or not. 
uh, things will get extremely dire. Uh, it'll cause a massive freeze. Because once the banks start to go, everything starts to slow down and freeze. So essentially, I mean, in, in, a, in a different way, but you can use it as an analogy, China is going through very similar to what we went through with our real estate bubble in 2007, 2009. Um, you know, where it just, there's so many spread on knock on effects that are going to cause uh, catastrophe uh, that they have to kind of print money. <laughs> they're, they're just in a different stage of the cycle, dude. Um, um, so yeah, and, and I encourage you to do some more reading on, I'm doing some more, it's all happened today. So I've been, I've been studying it up, but there's a lot happening. Uh, plenty of wild scenes. Uh, and yes, they're looking into it. Uh, it's starting with the small banks, but it's spreading to the large. But that being said, I can't speak too much more about it, right? I want to tell you more about it, but, um, there is a new law in China that requires influencers and live streamers who offer professional advice in areas such as medicine, healthcare, finance, to prove they hold qualifications. And because I cannot prove I hold qualifications in Chinese real estate, <laughs> I don't want to be uh, jailed. <laughs> I don't want to be jailed. So I'm going to hold my tongue on this one and just say, that's the end of what's up Beijing, but a lot of interesting news coming out of China. And that is the end of the wins and fails. Hope you enjoyed time to go into the real marketing Monday. <laughs> um, let me get, uh, let me get <laughs> uh, water real quick and let me bring on my guest. So what we're going to do today as we go into the Marketing Monday is I, listen, I'm a busy guy, okay? I'm a busy guy. I got a big project in NVIDIA I've been working on. Got a lot going on. I got to do the wins and fails, which is already enough work. And so I thought, hmm, how am I going to turn what I've created here into a business? How am I going to make this into a business? And my chief merchandising officer, Eamon Gaiman, flew to Australia yesterday. <laughs> can't get a hold of him. He's off fighting kangaroos or some shit. So I can't get a hold of Eamon, and I can't figure out how to monetize what I've created. So a young upstart, a hustler, a grustler in the world of business reached out to me and said he could help me pitch ideas that's going to turn the Atrioc Enron hat an empire into a real business. And his name is The Veil. Let me get him on right now and see what he's got for me. There it is. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Hello. Hey, oh, let me get you on screen you? here. You're loading. Can you hear? Uh, hello. <laughs> Hang oh, on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Are you doing? Uh, a okay. Video Hang thing? on. Let me. There you go. Can you see me? <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah, yeah, high power. Yeah. Thank you so much for meeting with me. What? Wow, your office looks great. The furnishings have. No, our office. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. The first yeah, we bought this. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't remember. You gave me the card. I right. took out, I actually, I went out to the bank, got a, one of them new, uh, 50 year mortgages. <laughs> this is I ours, told you baby. to grab Doritos for a product placement sketch. Not you, you, the card was you. Went, okay. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Bill. I love, I love your energy. I love your yeah. enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Man. Where you are you water, right now? Though. Yeah. I mean, we were, we're in, uh, where are you? You know, you know, the oh. city. <laughs> yeah, the city. You don't want to yeah. reveal it. I love that, dude. I love that. I love that. Hey, you know what? If hey. I reveal it, Evan Gow's here in two minutes. Yeah, you know, so you're right. You're right. Was, you're right. Yeah, King. we gotta stay. Uh, yeah, we're man, in the you, city. Got the, you got the top floor too, huh? You didn't spare no expense. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> top hey, floor. Hey, well, this whole building is actually ours. <laughs> okay. The wow. What are we Woo! gonna do? And I yeah. am dropping a thousand subs a day since the Papathon ended. So uh, Woo, we'll, we'll figure it out. Things are looking good. Things, things are, are looking, looking good. good. So here's You're the deal. Up. Here's the deal, Vale. Um, okay. Because the Papathon is over <clears throat> and, you know, the sub yep. count <sighs> dropping every day. Sure. I need to find a way to get back in the green here. And these Enron hats, okay. uh, Eamon won't hand stitch them anymore. So I can't sell those. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, exactly. I think Here's the deal. Here's the yeah. deal. You want to know a little 
Yeah, the, please. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say experienced and knowledgeable. Yeah. Uh, kind of the new blood of the industry. Yeah. Laughable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Mogul totally. moves more like mogul snooze. You know. <laughs> okay. What I mean? Okay. I see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then here's the thing: Enron would be borrowing from other right. companies now. We're right. not going to do that. I have no. a presentation for you. And you go get your water. Okay. I'll when get my water. When you come back, I got it. Okay. I'm super excited, and I'm sure this will be financially beneficial for me. Uh, oh, absolutely. One second. Be right back. Chat. Talk to the veil. <laughs> I'm not looking at chat. So hang on. Let me pull up <laughs> chat. Hi, chat. How are you? It's weird to see myself on screen and a little less pixels than I thought. Uh, it's nice to see you. I hope everybody's having a very good uh, uh, mo uh, not mo holy shit, marketing Monday. Uh, we're definitely taking all of our investment in uh, advice from Atrac, right? Like he says he's not an expert, but he just says that for the gimmick. We're all we're all taking it by like we're writing notes letter to letter, right? We can all agree. Can I get a ooh, ones in chat if we have lost money because of Atriox advice, and two if we've absolutely made an obscene amount of money? Can I can I ask for that? Is that true? I see. Good. I'm seeing some ones. Good. Lots. Of, okay. Lots. Okay. But too many ones going on. Listen. How about this? Can I get sixty nines in chat for those of you you that are excited to see the new line of uh, of products <laughs> and, and and the evolution of the Atriox brand? Huh. Uh, I've seen a lot of 69s in chat. And yeah, I, yeah. Well, hey, they're excited. Hey, listen, yeah. the people are excited. Yeah. It, it's my job okay. to get everybody else hyped. You just sit there, you just make money, it's right? That's job. how this goes. No, no, I thought I was I thought you were hired to make products. But we did, and so I make you the money. You <laughs> okay. just sit there and make All the right. money. Because I just got a really serious call from my financial advisor about this office charge that you have. He's just, I'm, listen, I, I don't want to sell her the mood. I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm just, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of, <laughs> hey, tell, you know what? A lot of red when I look at my balance sheet. It's fine. It's cool. We're good. You're, you, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell him he, yeah. he, he, to, he's on hold. Yeah. He can have a meeting with your kid who's going to be paying this bill. <laughs> right. Okay. When oh. we're gone, like, who gets, right. what is it, your parents? Okay. What do you pay him yeah. your parents? Get him out no, of here. Right. I'm not a pussy. Right. You're right. I'm not yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, this I mean, we can't, can't do it because we're digital, right? Brandon, but, okay? Yeah, call, no, call me Asher. <laughs> okay, all right, big A. You know what I mean? We'll get there. Listen, by by slide ten, yeah. you're gonna be you're gonna be like, hey, call me dad. You know what I mean? Like that's I, how it's gonna be. Is I, we're gonna be likely, we're gonna like but this. I like your energy. We're gonna be like okay, this. Listen, okay. nothing tighter than this. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be us, baby. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo! Okay, he's going zen. Without further ado, mm -hmm. uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, NBs, everybody in the mm -hmm. chat, how are you? I am the veil. Mm. Oh, with the there's the three instead of the e. Good branding. In the thank you, it's great for SEO, but it's at the <laughs> end of the the, but not at the end of the veil. So just everybody knows, okay? And I would like to welcome everybody to the Atrioc. Oh shit! Nope. We're, to the it's a great start to the Atrioc new branding analysis launch, huh? Huh? Um, small small point. Um, the I love sure. I love the energy, and I love that I paid. I think you charged me fifty thousand dollars for this branding consultancy, and I love that, and I I'm yeah. really excited. Was it only fifty thousand? Did I miss a zero? Okay, well, <laughs> we can because <laughs> we got some big ideas here that drinks, are going to take but, a little bit um, more than fifty. Okay, just first pass. I'm noticing it spells anal. Did you? Is that am I crazy for saying that or? I don't. You know, it's I Atrioc new well, no, branding. I mean, you understand? Obviously, you bolded the first letter of each word, and it says everyone in chat spamming. Yep, anal. Right? Did you? Is that <laughs> that doesn't no so so because then if, it, if you're talking about like the first are you talking about like yeah so that would be a yeah. and yeah. b <laughs> and ball no you're right yeah i'm the idiot no you're right and yeah, ball. yeah what am yeah, i thinking yeah, what yeah, are, yeah hey you know what i'm an idiot you're, we're all hey uh, we're, yeah, if you're cares? an idiot who what am i you know what i mean <laughs> right, you know what right, i mean right. okay so how about and this ball. how about this <laughs> okay how about this in my opinion okay 
So it's like marketing Mondays. Yep. We're, we're going after the the old nine to five people. Well, not maybe they're in college. <laughs> oh, I want to be in marketing because my favorite streamers in marketing. Who do I sound like? Like everybody at <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, Mo Mogul Money Live. Is yeah. that who I sound like well, right now? No, I mean, they were Listen, very we nice need to go after the young demographic because they have their parents' credit cards, right? Mm. Okay, true. Yeah. Sure. Great. Yep. So I'm thinking we go after kids with the first product here. Mm -hmm. A tree crocs. <laughs> Footwear. <laughs> Still you hey, if you yeah. hey, adults can wear them. It's yeah. it could be a new fashion thing. Maybe wear them to a red carpet or yeah. something. <laughs> but all the kids are gonna be wearing them. You can put like little I'm thinking like little stickers or something on them. Okay. Be kind of cool. You're thinking that um so okay how, how are they functionally different from a pair of crocs uh from a pair of what <laughs> you haven't heard of crocs that what? slips my mind i don't i've heard of a <laughs> tree crocs right i've seen crocs these are this is footwear right you're talking about this is fo Atri crocs yeah. footwear? okay yeah. and you're not aware of another footwear company named crocs that also does their logo is literally behind my face in this image. That's not. That's not. Mm -hmm. That's not ringing okay. any bells. L no, listen. Let's put a pin in that real quick. I gotta take a call. It's legal. Give me one second. Okay. okay. No, he, he's on. He's on. This. Yeah, okay. No, he said. He said. He right. said he knows I can still hear you, and that's it's making me nervous, right? Because you're calling your legal department and saying he's. No, on. not no. Hey, so oh. hang on, my mom. Okay. It's my. Oh, it's your hang mom. on. I, 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 I say I, legal. I, it's my yeah. mom. Yeah, you no, call he, her legal. He totally knows. He totally knows. Just, it just we'll as an, the next okay. one. All right. No, he's gonna. He's bound to get one. Okay. So listen, <laughs> listen. Let's maybe not be like this one. Maybe it's a joke from the interns. Ooh. Maybe Crocs are a real yeah, thing. Let's right. let's move on. Okay. okay. Let's let's that. move yeah, on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, this is worth it. Let's have All a right. moment of of healing. You you put in a moment of healing after the first pitch. We're it's corporate, baby. <laughs> listen, listen. It's corporate. You got to pump them out. <laughs> You know, at least ten times a day. You know what I mean? Let's get some. Let's get some healing in here, okay? As my favorite uh, 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 verse from the Bible goes, Jeremiah thir uh, thirty seventeen, from one of the most profitable corporations, I might add, Christianity. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Right? Okay, Bill, that's that is powerful. Thank you so much for that quote. Just we're already we're, we're two slides in and you're on a healing slide and reading bible verses to me i'm just wondering but listen okay <laughs> i'm, I'm sure. not reading bible verses yeah. lord is kind of yeah. ambiguous right. who is the lord <laughs> people associate healing with the lord when they want healing they go to they go to who right yeah i think they mean the christian god but i'm sure where you, where you, no that's no. not what they mean anymore no. not not the 21st century baby yeah. we're at all time low for religion in this country True. you ready for this you know, <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna go to Atriox, baby. Band Atriox, huh? Do you like how like so like these are like little pads to stop bleeding? <laughs> no, I, I and know got what band aids are, them. right? I know because. Sorry, don't make that face. You're making a very quizzical face. You're looking at me and you're tilting your head and you're you're scratching the back of your head like you've never heard of band aids. <laughs> don't, don't don't do an exaggerated. Who me? It's it's band aids, right? <laughs> I'm talking about I know band aid triox. I put my blood into so this, into this presentation. You, okay, I, I hate to insult you because I think you're doing a really passionate job. It's just I think did you yeah. get sent this already? Did you get no, an email before the meeting no, and now I've, you're? I've seen band aids. They're a real product, and I would we'd be sued almost instantly. I think that I would know if the number nine doctor recommended brand for bandages. <laughs> was it was at risk of being sued i think i would get yeah, a call from okay. from illegal yeah, I, like you're right i think you're that right. that's what would happen yeah no i don't know what you mean how about this how about okay. this ready yeah. one step further mm -hmm. band-aids they're only used when you're kind of like uh what is it what is it bleeding mm -hmm. how about this okay. every night before you go to bed every morning when you wake up we're gonna tell people to do it at the end of every meal we go with colgate <laughs> baby listen 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 you know how they always say nine out of every 10 dentists goes for, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, let me pick a random fake brand out of my head like Colgate. <laughs> I know a guy who knows a guy who's talked to the one that doesn't <laughs> mess with the other brands. Okay. I think I can get him on Colgate. And and look at look at so you're, yeah, you're like, saying there's a dentist out there, one out not, of the 10, 
who sure. refused to take Colgate's money to 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 say they're the good toothpaste. But he is going to <laughs> flip sides and endorse Colgatrioc, a knockoff. Whoa, I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that word? I'm sorry. What is that knockoff? Uh, uh, Colgate's in, in definitely innovative. a knockoff. They, we had this yeah. in R&D way longer, <laughs> and then they, you know how they do it. They, You go over to the streets of China, okay. and they sell you a cheap knockoff yeah. really quick. They kind of doesn't say, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this is the real deal, okay? okay? All right. It, it, do you see how white this guy's smile I is? I do, this and I like guy that. Over to here? be honest, I do like, you know, you got my teeth looking good. You got the sparkle on there. Oh, is that you? <laughs> I didn't even, I mean, I'm now, I'm. I'm flattered that you just chose wow. that person randomly and it ended up being me in this pitch to Hey, look, I just looked. I Googled <laughs> best smile ever. This popped up. Feels pandering, but I know you wouldn't lie to me. So, uh, no. listen. Do I look like a guy best... that would lie? Do I look like a guy that would lie? Do I look like a guy that would lie? No, man. No, no. No. no That's look, what I thought. Okay. Listen, uh, listen, listen, listen. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. okay, all good products so far. We can go with all of them. Well, we don't have to be nitpicky, okay? <laughs> we don't have to worry about lawsuits. Right. I, should, okay. I it's my business. I, I should worry a little bit, but okay, continue. Well, one of us is in their bedroom right now yeah. playing video games, <laughs> and one of us is here at the tower doing the dirty work. Okay, that's what we're calling it now. By the way, the tower. But boss, listen, I do the I do the heavy lifting. You get the gains. You know what I mean? But listen, has the grind got you hungry? <laughs> Love the slogan already. Yeah, this guy looks hungry. Listen, the grind, the grind's grind got me got you hungry. hungry. Okay. Oh, it's got me hungry. I gotta do my, I gotta do my quick dinner time bump. Hang on, real quick. Ready? Oh my god. Oh. oh. Holy. <laughs> you did children watch thank you, Janine. Monday. Don't tell Janine thank you. Janine, what? <laughs> Sorry, I figured it, I, I got can't. somebody. Else. No. What? Hunter recommended her. She was very good. She's <laughs> she's killing it. You know Hunter? No. Oh, he's going through a he's going I, through a lot no, right now. We don't have Hunter Biden on the payroll of H Rock Industries. Don't. You're right. No, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Legally speaking, we do not have Hunter <laughs> Biden, the son of the president of the United States downstairs right now with janine and sheila and do, hey if you were in monica number five hey man i'm sorry to... mambo number five we got monica <laughs> number five <laughs> yeah, that's awesome we got there five there are five, five monicas, monica's? yeah well, you are doing a lot of hiring to fill that tower and i love that i do love but, that listen it's you. not yeah. legally speaking yeah. gotcha. in the city yeah. that we're in yeah. they're not on payroll yeah okay understood their uh, personal expenses <laughs> Mm -hmm. That we pay for through certain donations don't, from don't people to. like. <laughs> Hunter. Anyway, has the grind got you hungry? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm hungry. Hey, believe me, I'm hungry, Vale. Listen, when you're hungry, do you cook dinner? Boo. 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 You're not married yet, so your wife's not cooking you dinner. Okay. You know what I mean? It's sexist. Old <laughs> ball and chain sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> making dinner that's not that's not happening yet so what do you do you gotta go you gotta go order food right how about this chipotle trio dude i'm sensing a pattern Vale. Vale, i'm sensing a pattern you got me slightly nervous about my investment i'm worried about my money everything that you brought me is an existing brand that ends in a and then you're just adding a do you are you you're looking so confused Every time I bring this up, you're looking so confused, but you can't be that confused because it's so obviously Chipotle. It's no, a what do you? <laughs> Chipotle only sells burritos. Right. Chipotle truck sells hot dogs or glizzies. <laughs> you thought huh? that? <laughs> <His face. laughs> this is good. <laughs> Uh, Can I go to the next one? I think you're really gonna no, like the next I just one. Want, I mean, I love this. I love that you you seemed right. so excited when you said glizzies that that would really get me back on board, and it certainly got the chat back on board. Um, okay, listen, yeah. I, I like food. Food's a good industry for a streamer to get into. I mean, Mr. Beast did sure. did the burgers and Beast Burgers. Beast Burgers, um, sure. Well, yeah, not really. Chipotle, Our competitors. Like I mean, I don't right. know why you got to bring them up right right <laughs> well, now. You brought How about this? You heard of you've heard of Beast Burgers? Yeah. 
Chick Fil A truck, baby. Right. And listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen. The boys, yeah. Okay, down in design, uh -huh. down in marketing. Uh -huh. your, your people. Yeah, I love okay, those guys. Came up with a mascot. <laughs> huh? <laughs> go back to the last it's picture. Good. Go back to the last picture. I'm sorry. Can you go back to the? Can you back one? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I don't. There's no coffee here. They don't even sell coffee. It's a chicken sandwich and a salad. Listen, I think that Benny down in marketing is going to be a little bit upset when you're critiquing his slides. He gets offended really easily. Okay, I know. You're actually you're actually so he, right. I've learned in uh, management is that when you're critiquing design, you have to do a compliment sandwich. So I'm going to open by yeah. saying that I really think that the food here looks very delicious, and I, I love your enthusiasm and passion, okay? And I really want to thank oh, you for yeah. your hard work. And then in the middle, I want to say we'll get sued by Chick-fil-A. This is a terrible idea. The mascot – says drink more coffee he doesn't even sell coffee stop. and no, then at stop, the end stop. i want to say your, your tie looks nice <laughs> <laughs> okay. looks really first nice. of all i know okay first of all okay. i know okay, okay. <laughs> i mean we, yeah. come on you yeah. to work you it sells itself for, yeah. for you big man yeah. and i would be that'd be wearing a cheap okay. tie right no you would yeah i went to like express <laughs> and then got myself like a 20 dollars. what do you think no what do you think way. I am? Not what are you, you dude. Doing? That thing looks expensive. That looks $3,000. You keep using the S word, and I got to put out a fire real quick. Yeah, all right. No, Jeff, I know. Jeff, don't – please, don't pull up. Don't. No, Jeff, listen. I'm, I'm a real amazing – we're going to go with it. You don't have to pull out. It'll be fine. <laughs> no. I'll, Je no. We're, I, I, yes, I'm going to tell him that dude. we're open on Sundays. I'm going to tell him we're open on Sundays. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Okay. Listen. <laughs> I just got off the phone yeah. with one of our early investors. Well, I know, I know, because every single time you're on the phone, you're saying it in the mic. I can, it feels uncomfortable for me because you're, you're very. I'm not worried. wearing a mic. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's just I can hear you every time, and it's like you're obviously harried and worried in these calls, and then you come back to me and you predict this aura of confidence. Yeah, no, a, a aura of confidence, baby. I like more of that. Is it the compliment like sandwich going on? I'm last... all about that, baby. I'm all about that. Or of confidence. Speaking of confidence, uh, okay. I just okay. got off the phone with one of our investors. Yeah, All right. yeah Jeff Bezos. Okay. He's that was gonna Jeff need Bezos. you to Yeah. That was Jeffrey Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, calling you about Chick fil A Triac. Well, okay, listen, about the whole <laughs> our whole company. Listen, he's seen the whole slide. <laughs> I gave this to him last week when we had the reschedule. He okay. loves it. Early investor, but okay. catch yeah. Gotta be open on Sundays. Sure. I know that's rough. It's not, it's, okay. That that's the rough part? You this is the first time you look a little bit uh, worried. And <laughs> you think the biggest weakness of Chick-fil-A Triac? <laughs> open on Sundays. I know. I'm sorry. It's glaring. And I told him we should put a slide in about it and we should easy into it. He said, rip off the band-aid now and you gotta stop using that S word. You got you gotta stop. There are kids that watch Marketing Mondays if you keep saying this S word. You did crap. a pump of cocaine of five minutes ago. Hey, 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 again, for legal reasons, okay, right. that's powdered sugar right. on a on a on a Pyrex lid. <laughs> okay? Can I can I get on with it? I mean, I feel like Sorry. you're loving it so I far. We kinda hit a speed yeah, bump. No, yeah, yeah. We did hit a speed bump. Good choice of words. I would love to hear more about what you got. He's trying to do a speed bump. Hey. I <laughs> Listen, I, I can go to TwitchCon. We can do a speed bump. You want to do a speed bump? No, no, man. <laughs> All right. Hey, I know you're working at NVIDIA, yeah. baby. Those Silicon yeah. Valley jobs. You guys do speed bumps all the time. You know what I mean? We it's not even on the highway anymore. It's all speed bumps. Anyway, anyway, listen, 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 listen. I mean, you've seen this. Mm -hmm. Love this. Well, got to add coffee. I'll send a note. I understand. Yeah. You love it. But okay. we got to emphasize the coffee bit. Got it's it. Not. All right. <laughs> Back to the switching demographics part. Listen, big guy. Can I call you big guy? Sure. <laughs> you big, guy, big guy Brandon? Yeah. I mean, okay, you're kind of. I told easy. you, I told you halfway through, you're going to say I can call you Brandon. And you, hey, listen, good sign. You We're going to breeze past it, okay? Yeah, right. hey, listen, listen. Right. Hey, it's what I do. I slip right. it in. Uh, listen, we, we've already appealed to kind of this with the with the A-Tree Crocs, mm -hmm. Chick fil A Triac, mm -hmm. right? Even this with Chipotle Triac, mm -hmm. right? All, it, it applies to everybody. Right. Uh, the you know uh, uh, hygiene and and health, mm -hmm. but we really aren't focusing on this last guy here, and I feel like he's your strongest why suitor would, here. Why I mean, would we're, you think that? Why? In what way? I'm on Twitch. Doesn't feel like I'd. 
I feel. Yeah, okay. You're not on YouTube gaming. You're on Twitch. <laughs> you're right. Listen, listen, big guy. I'm gonna wait for that announcement here in a couple of months. Okay. You can't necessarily do uh, 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 wins and fails uh, of the of the week when you get copyright strikes every two minutes. When uh, when uh, Z doesn't like your your Beijing video, okay. <laughs> So can we move on and stop feigning ignorance for the sake of humor and and, and move into this? <laughs> That's the and this is next bit. I mean, sure, I feel like please you're making continue. a joke out of this. I'm, yeah, no, I'm I taking mean, I'm, I'm taking this deadly impossible. seriously. You think I'm stupid? No, I I'm taking this deadly seriously, Vale. I think I I really I put a lot of my money into this. I have a wedding coming up that I've postponed to pay for this. Yeah. I'm, and you've promised uh, really. I didn't get my invite to that, by the way. Did I get lost in the mail? <laughs> well, I had to postpone it because. Me and Janine, I look. I already told yeah. Janine we're Janine. going front row seats. Okay, not Monica, yeah. <laughs> number five. No, Hunter's got them booked for the weekend. I mean, he's uh, they're got a meeting uh, overseas for the week. Anyway, okay. well, listen, we'll mortality yeah, yeah. on that same vein of Hunter Biden mortality. Mm -hmm. People that are worrying about dying, and when you're worried about dying, what is better and more profitable? than a life insurance company, huh? Vale. All state trio. <laughs> huh? Vale, I, I just don't think people are going to want to trust their life insurance with a streamer that plays monkey games and a, and and you. And you. <laughs> I People don't... already trust you with their investments. Why would they not trust you with their investment in life? What do you mean? You, you, we fade in ignorance again for the sake of humor? And listen, 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 listen. I like the yeah. guy you currently have playing your dad. I think he's a, he's sweet. Okay, you good. guys look enough alike. Yeah. I, it, hopefully, I've seen the pay stubs. He doesn't cost yeah. too much. No, the guy that he yep. currently got is good. We're going to have to recast him. Okay. Okay. My father. I need to recast my father. Yeah, the guy that plays, yeah, you're sure. right. The yeah. guy that plays your father. Sorry, I forgot we're still doing the thing and we're streaming. And so we got to put up the thing. H how about your new dad? <laughs> he, he's, I think he looks a little bit more like you. <laughs> I think he's having more fun oh, than I think the last guy. No, I don't think this is a good idea, man. I think this is a bad I don't think this is a Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's not. No, 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 no. Yo, I'm going to sell you on this next one. Ready for this? Okay. A, 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 R, P. Hey, you added another A. Well, it's the yeah, HR American Association yeah. of Retired Persons. Right. And we've got all these retired you... people <laughs> retired or close to retirement yeah. here at the bottom. Blood is getting pretty old. I, you know what? Hey, Takes one to no one. Dude. Anyway. Wow. Anyway, listen. <laughs> All these are good, mm -hmm. but on that same vein mm -hmm. of people that are worried about, I don't know, dying and withering away into nothing, yep. let's keep on that. Let's stay true to you. Let's stay true to Own in, please. To to Brandon, right? Let's let's try and work the brand that you've already got built, that's close Thank to your you. values. Okay. <sighs> I'm actually glad let's, you're saying this. Thank you so much. I was a little worried because you know, the first couple ideas you threw at me. They just had me right. my dizzy a little bit, you know. It just felt so They're out of pocket, a little right? out of pocket, and like and I'm it's a so little, glad. I should probably led with this because yeah. it's like I'm trying to get you to jump in and instead yeah. of first. Yeah, let's start with something that down. really feels authentically a truck. Thank God, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought this at the end. Okay, no, I'm, I'm with you. I'm listening. I'm back on board. Hundred percent. An organization you already support. NRA Triac, right? And we are. Hey, look, look, look. We already, we already got a mock up. Of you oh, reacting to I their this is veil. Uh, we the video is ready to go live here soon. We just what is this mock up. This is not wall. real. This is edited. No, you. We no, said, I you said I a video didn't... over us. You said this is going live on Friday. That's why. why that's why Marketing I... Monday took so long why last week. I... We were filming this. I'm pogging at. We armed our entire family. I'm pogging at children. Well, yeah, it's, uh, the American <laughs> family reacts to NRA Trioc announcement. And it says in the description, let's go, Brandon. Brandon Atrioc, ghost son of Quincy Ewing, is officially partnered with the NRA to arm everyone in America against stalkers like I Evan Gao. And it goes on. And if you guys in chat right now, if you text Atrioc oh, no, to 69696, so you can join NRA Atrioc. And he's so excited. You see this? He's wearing a Top Gun hat. Yeah, he's all about the conservative. You know what I mean? 
This is good. You said closer to your brand. <laughs> right. So I threw you, I got, a, I, I made a couple calls. Cuban put me in contact with a couple people. Hunter knew a couple of people. Right. I mean, you know, Hunter, Hunter Biden put you in touch with the NRA. <laughs> 100% it's like him to Don yeah Don to <laughs> two other people and then we're right there like I'm literally I I'm, I'm I walk in and I'm in Texas on stage and I'm like I'm proud to announce here at the you've NRA already announced. We, so this is not a pitch to me because you've already gone to the NRA convention and announced that I am this is a pitch what is the point of releasing a brand that's already been released like this is to your people right this is the launch to your people like people know that it, that apple's coming out with the 14 15 16 17 right but they still put on those stupid show things where they're like look it's brighter this and is weird from a pitch power. keynote to you're an apple keynote this <laughs> this is not you calling me to pitch ideas this is you Am presenting like <laughs> right now are you are you telling me that i'm like a joke right now like i got dressed up for something no i i woke up and this is i put this I, listen i woke up at 5 a.m for this i don't know if you know what time it is here it's 11 50 p.m all right, you can't tell from outside because we got the because we got the nifty windows <laughs> that make it really bright outside say, all the really time. Bright. It's really it's bright. It's LED screens. The technology that they used on the Mandalorian, oh. Mandalatrioc, <laughs> by the way. Just let that sit for a minute. I just hey, listen, I'm an I'm an ideas guy. This is once it starts going, it, once the damn burst, <laughs> we're out of here, right? You got a fucking <laughs> penthouse level suite for the office, uh, and you replaced all the windows with the green. Screens from Mandalorian. So mm, <laughs> I didn't do that. You did that. Thanks, man. <laughs> we Your name's that. on that. We did that. Yeah, yeah we did. That. I like that. I like the sound of that. We. we that. I like that, Brandon. I like yeah. that. That's good. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. When you call me Brandon. But, but listen. <laughs> yes. None of these are gonna make us mm -hmm. the big money. The we squishy. know where the big money is, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Insurance can't touch. Gaming skins. We're gonna partner with Apex Legends. You got to get a tattoo for it, okay. but we can get Atrioctane in there. Okay. These are... <laughs> and then yeah. League of Legends, Riot mm -hmm. Games, mm -hmm. the big guns. Oh yeah, you know it. You you Bill, know with the you, with the LC three. This... You know what I mean? That's <laughs> hell yeah. You know. You yeah, it's gonna them. be big in China. You called the LCS the LC three or whatever, and they they allowed you to put me on Twisted Fate. First of all, I put threes in a lot of places they shouldn't be. Let's get that <laughs> goddamn so, clear, okay? That's true. <laughs> second of all, second of all, I'm, what I'm I, telling you, Val, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I'm actually I'm not sorry to interrupt. I need to get my point across here. Okay. Uh, right. This is the first idea that's even close to real, right? Maybe they partner with a streamer to make a skin. It's not. It's like not crazy. Like this could happen. This could make some money. It the is problem happening, is, baby. Okay, I just don't believe that you have the connections at Riot to confirm. You're telling me that <laughs> we're locked. We're a go for Twisted Patriot. <laughs> you're telling me that you're not. You're kind of shaking your head and doing it. I don't have the connections. <laughs> I don't know the connection. You're not answering my question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you see Janine walk in here? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> did you see her walk she in wasn't here on camera. with an eight ball? <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you see Hunter, Hunter Biden's right. yeah. downstairs? I don't Hunter have Biden is not going to get Jeff you into Bezos, Riot Games. Jeff Bezos is our early investor demanding that we at least pick three of these brilliant ideas. Okay. And I don't have connections. I know Cuban. Who do you know? No. You watch Shark Tank while I live it, baby. <laughs> You sit there, <laughs> you make them. I, I, listen, okay. hey, I, I think we're getting off on the, the wrong lifting. foot. I think we're getting off the wrong foot. You're, you, I don't know how. Do you see this mustache? I know. I off on the wrong foot. <laughs> what are you? What is this? What, what's happening? I need to take your money. I make money. Like, what do you want? Yeah. It's like and, I, that guy. and again, I, I, that's why I hired you because I love that energy and I don't want to insult you because I think you brought a lot of great ideas here today. I just... Hey, let's a guilty charge, <laughs> baby. Positive vibes okay. only. Hashtag right. blessed. Positive vibes only. Okay. Let's see what we got 100%. next. I'd love to hear more. I just I'm a little worried. You're not ready for this. Okay. You're not ready for think, this. Think bigger. Think bigger. Okay. Think it big. And what's bigger than a major motion picture? The big A Avengers. You know how much Disney <laughs> and Marvel Studios makes? Yeah. On they, merchandising alone, they do make a lot of money on the Avengers. Oh yeah, they do. Oh they my, listen. Famously very protective of their copyright, to be honest. I, 
<laughs> Doesn't sound like a problem for me. Sounds like the mortgage. It's a problem for my kids. Anyway, yeah. we've got you in the leading role. Okay. Love that. Tony We're Stark We're going to rebrand type. a couple of your team members, okay? All right. Evan Gao. As Captain America, America, baby. Right. Absolutely. He, he loves wearing costumes and standing yeah. outside of big buildings. Okay. It's just... <laughs> He can do a backflip. He can do his own stunts. What do you want from me? Right. It's just like when they cast these roles, usually they try to get people that are really household names so they can sell right. a lot of tickets. Right. So the I... Ludwig Flying Aces winner <laughs> raised twenty or 30000 I can't even remember. Right. X you know amount right. of dollars for Jerry. Ludwig Flying Aces winner. This guy's a big deal. Who else you got in this, this all-star cast? Oh, you're not even ready for this one. I just want to make sure real quick. Mm -hmm. Ari isn't watching, right? <laughs> no. Hell yeah. <laughs> Spectacore is going to need to squeeze his little little butt into one of these leather numbers. You know what I mean? <laughs> if Janine wore these, I'd be a little late to work. You know what I mean? You already are frequently late to work. We've postponed <laughs> this like four times. <laughs> right. And I have the, and, and yeah. Yeah, it's crazy if, yeah. if one of those moments comes out where yeah. DMs get leaked or something yeah. about being late to work. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so funny. Okay, well. But I can go bigger. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Real quick, uh -huh. it's at the end because yeah. this may be the one that I can't sell you on. Okay. It may jeopardize a current sponsor. Okay. But tonight's Marketing Monday is actually brought to you by Publatriarch. <laughs> yeah, An this application. Is, this is literally the sponsor for what we're doing right now. But, but, oh, well, it's the perfect it. time to do an ad read. Go for <laughs> no. it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Publatriarch is not the sponsor of this. Public is whose logo you have stolen for a pitch during their sponsored Blin. segment. Oh. They are watching. People Yoinked have... and twist. <laughs> Yoinked and twist. Okay, come on. I told you not to use the S word. Right. Jeff is gonna be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You got me a little nervous. I'm, I'm gonna get a DM from Public saying that I've stolen their IP for while they're paying me. Listen, it'll, it can get cut out of the YouTube videos. You can remove the VOD. This is like a regular train wrecks moment, if you will. Okay. But at the end of the day, it gives you a great time to do their ad read. It's sensational marketing for both brands. We'll see who comes out on top at the end. Okay. And who secures this domain name? Uh, This guy. <laughs> I'm checking right And they aim. They aim. If they – listen – Truck, this site cannot be reached. <laughs> we're, still, we're still working on that. I'll figure that out. I'll talk to Jimmy in bubble, uh, downstairs at yeah. IT. Monica. Crazy how many people we have here that are named Jimmy. You got Jimmy. a big team. You got a big team. Oh, and like nine of them are Jimmy. Yeah. All right. Listen, I threw a lot at you. You did. You okay. did. Hey. It's been a busy week, busy night. Vail, I got up? only one question for you. Sure, what's up, baby? When can we start? When can we start, uh, buddy? Shake my hand. Call me Brandon. Funny. We're in. I want to do all of them. Brandon. I want to do all of them, dude. We're taking out a big loan tomorrow. We're going all in. I'm talking oh, Colgate Trioc. Oh, I'm talking Chick fil A Trioc. I'm talking Chipotle Trioc. I mean, there's just money. Money to the moon, baby. Okay. <laughs> Vail, you okay? Vail, you okay? <sighs> Had a little heart attack there, huh? Does that happen yeah, a lot? I think, it's, I think it's just a powdered sugar. Listen, <laughs> listen. I just got to ask one more question to you because yeah. uh, in these things we got like to, nervous. you know, it's, it's a give and take. Brandon, which one is your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. Boy, when you have so many hits, it's hard to choose. Right. <laughs> All of them, right? Hard to narrow them down. Hard like picking a favorite kid, you know? Right. Uh, Except you can do that easily. We just <laughs> lie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, man, I really, I just loved that idea of all state triac, if I'm being honest, mm. cause that's a good business to be in. You know what I'm saying? And you just, the actor guy probably is right. I, I comfortable. Really, yeah, yeah. And also I want to undercut the dad's pay. So, well, yeah. yeah. And it, listen, listen, he's already accessible to Gao. Gao's got his number. We mm -hmm. hire this guy. We put in a restraining order, like literally day started. Not showing up to any charity streams, showing up on any flags at UC Berkeley. It's it's a win-win, honestly. Anything that we can take away from students. Yeah, <laughs> that is a say. big win. 
That's what we got Big in this w. business. Listen, I appreciate you having me on. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if you liked this, mm -hmm. you can stop by the stream sometime. We're going to be doing a charity stream here in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I might be making an appearance. I might, show, I might show up. You know, charity means a lot to me. And uh, after what you've done for I me know. today. You know, after, I mean, listen, listen, you put your heart and soul into these ideas. I can tell this definitely wasn't oh, a big joke oh, to you. So. Mind, body, all <laughs> eight chakras. I took out, I don't know how much of your money. Yeah. Okay. I showed up today know, early right? in the you morning, 11 a.m. the amount of money. Oh my God. I, I'm not even, it's not even the good Coke. It's not even the good Coke anymore. I, I'm, I'm taking kickbacks to put in more hours and money towards these graphics. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah. This is a this is a winning thumbnail. Yeah. I'll expect a DM about this All right. one. I well, mean, I'm I'm in love and chat. And thank you by the way for letting me do this live. You know, I know usually you do these in private, but thank you so much oh, for yeah. allowing the chat to be here. Chat, if you enjoyed the Veil's presentation, uh, please check out his stream on Twitch.tv slash The Veil. And uh, which is need... the day, but don't forget it's the three <laughs> in place of the E after the forget? the. Not How could after. they forget? It's just it's so <laughs> iconic. Yeah. Um. Anything else you want to plug or anything else you want to say about, you know, our, our coming business ventures? I really appreciate your time. Listen, honest, honestly, man, mm -hmm. and anything, any bone you can toss me. Okay. <laughs> this is the start of something big here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We, 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 we know it. You know, when you're like, dude, when you know, you know, when, Hey, when Elton John was in the room and he heard <laughs> Hey Jude for the first time, he was like, wait, are you saying Elton John's in the room now? Or are you talking about an example? <laughs> no. When he wrote, Hey Jude, he was like, "Whoa!" Because he was gonna be big. It was the and Beatles. The, be the Beagles the be wrote, "Hey Jude," and so it, what do you think? Copyright yeah. man, yeah. DMCA. Anyway, hey. you have a great rest hey, of your night, you, Brandon. Uh, let's go, Brandon. I get some, let's go, Brandon. To chat. I'll see you again soon. Ask for me. Do we'll do. Thank you again, the Veil. Thank you, everybody. My business manager, the Veil. Everybody, thank you so much. That was the veil, my business manager. I just hired him for an exorbitant sum, calling him from my new tower. No need to say let's go, Brandon, even though he implied that. No, no, no need to do that. Big claps to the veil. That was a fantastic presentation on the future of my business. I'm sure I will no longer need the services of one Aiden Gaming when he returns from Australia because I've got my future set. Set, set, set. <laughs> And now, because my mic has fallen off my stand and I'm holding it, that may be the end of the stream. <laughs> that might be the end. Because uh, I have to fix this mic and uh, I might go watch Better Call Saul with Ari. Um, unfortunate, a little short of a stream, but we got a full wins and fails and we got a hilarious uh, and insightful visit from the veil. So I want to thank you guys uh, again so much. Uh, I do have a marketing Monday, but it actually feels a little late to do it. Um, the marketing Monday, I don't, should I even spoil the topic? It's a good one and I'll just do it. Uh, I'll save it for next week and, um, and we have one. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Sevens, indeed. I hope you enjoy. Hey, Shouts to the veil for real. That was really funny. Um, he he gave me no idea what he was going to do. <laughs> Everything we just did there was, I was seeing it for the first time. That was not a plan. He just told me he would have uh, merchandising ideas for me, and it could be a segment on Marketing Monday. And I was like, "Fuck it, <laughs> I'll be funny." And so he came with that, and it was uh, it was great. So, um, uh, big shouts to the veil. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow with even more, uh, content and, um, what do I want to say? And, and Saturday, if you like marketing Monday stuff, please tune in Saturday. Cause we're going to have, um, shark tank. We're going to have, uh, the scrub daddy, uh, pitch guy on the show. He created a uh, scrub daddy, made millions and millions of shark things. We talk about it. So check that out. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks again for watching sevens. Appreciate it. I had a fun time today. Hope you enjoyed the uh, wins and fails. And bye. Have a good night. Oh, let's rate somebody. We'll rate somebody. Who's live? Is the veil live? He should go live. He should go live if he's not live. Uh, 
he is live, we're going to raid him. Go check out the veil. He's going to be doing some funny stuff. Uh, oh, he just went offline. <laughs> he literally just went offline. It was actually pretty late for him. So we will raid. Is Connor his pants live? Oh, we'll raid Connor. We'll raid Connor. Eat the pants. We just did a hilarious stream together where we uh, got our nails done, uh, as manly men do. Uh, Connor eats pants, and then he betrayed me by getting his off instantly, and I'm still stuck with mine because I don't know how to get rid of them. Connor eats pants. Um, so check that out. Oh, he literally didn't get him off? I thought he did. Maybe he didn't. Uh, anyway, check him out. Much love to Connor. One of my favorite streamers. One of the funniest guys. Give him some love. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.